Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kalechi and I am a Canva expert. Welcome, welcome. And please, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how I was able to come up with this um, text. It's looking like a 3D text. Okay, so I did that manually with Canva. This design here, this is a product packaging design. And this tutorial it's available for those that purchased my Canva course. So if you need that, you can just indicate in the comment section or just click on the link that you would find in the description. Let's now let's jump right into the story. I remember I'm going to be showing you how I was able to come up with something like this, and you can use this for headings. Let's say you're trying to create a flyer and you're looking for you, you want the caption to look really attractive, then this would help you for captions, for headings, or just um, for type, typographies, stuff like that. Without wasting much time, I'm going to go over to a new page. Open a new page. This is, this is my new page. This is a canvas. Now let's use Canva as um, the text we are going to be applying the effect on. This is Canva. Now to make that look um, really nice, I would suggest that instead of using a font like this, okay, um, you can use a script font so i'm going to use nexa script this is nexa script and nexa script as you can see it's a pro font meaning that if you don't have a pro account you may not you will not be able to use this font in canva the alternative uh, will be for you to go to an external website where you can download fonts free and then upload it into canva i showed that in a tutorial you can find that on my youtube channel where you can download and upload fonts into canva i'm going to be showing you guys okay, you can just search for it in videos on my youtube channel and you will get to see it so this is the font nexa script Okay, it's a script font and I really love how it's formed. C A N V A, they're all together. So I'm going to change this background. Let me see what background I can use. Mm, blue background should do. Should I use this? Should I use this? That one? Too dark. This one. Now I am going to change this color I'm going to use white first then I'll go back to effects go back to shadow increase the blood to 83 this should be black what should be black and the offsets I'm going to bring it to this place Oops, the offset it's turning to okay 45. Now we have an offset. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I uh, sorry, offset it's a hundred the direction, however, it's minus 45, and then transparency 40 sounds okay, 40 looks fine. Offset direction blur and transparency so we're good to go now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this and add another color I think um, let's use this color i'm going to increase this so it's easier for us to place it very well we're going to make it just a little bit here you can do it you can do it this way or you can do it the other way so i'm going to take this to the back Let's make this a little bit okay. Now I'm going to duplicate this again. 
take this again and use a lighter color and make sure it's adjusted properly and take it all the way to the back now i'm going to view this normal and there you have the front it's looking really nice now this is looking like a 3d text and i really love it it's beautiful so you can just play around with this and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel you can create yours you can create something like this and if you want to spice it up you can apply the uh, emboss effect okay that tutorial also is available on my youtube channel just search for it how to create emboss text in canva and you will get to see it and if also like i said if you're interested in getting my canva course where um you see a lot of motion graphics tutorial please just click on the link in the description so for now i leave you with this 3d text manual 3d text we have a lot of test effects in canva we have um shadow lift hollow spice echo background neon glitch and curve but um nothing like this so this it's a manual way you can create 3d text and it's going to look attractive bye bye for now and thank you guys